Hi, um, I want to share a little tutorial to, with you today on making junk mail envelopes. So I have a friend that saved me a lot of junk mail and I feel really grateful because I don't get as much junk mail as, as I would like. Isn't that funny? Even saying that sounds funny. So anyway, today in my junk mail or a couple of days ago, she brought me a big box of junk mail and in it came this envelope and it was filled with bills and all kinds of bill mail bill uh, envelopes and different things like that and well, what's really cool look at it how it's made it's just a little envelope and in the envelope also came all of these that this was my inspiration this little envelope and in this envelope came all of these flyers these sort of heavy like cardstock style flyers I, I don't know the weight of them but they're they're heavier than regular um junk mail and, you know the he just heavier weight and so from these i have made these this was out of a campaign flyer this was for a pawn shop which i thought it was cool um more campaign flyer envelopes this was uh some donation flyer and just more fun like let me just see this is better sorry just lots of fun donation flyer campaign flyer junk mail you know uh, a pawn shop or a state flyer so and you know me, I love to repurpose my junk mail. And I think, you know, for me personally, once I started, there was no looking back once you really start doing it. So I'm gonna show you how to take these and make these fun little flyer, these fun little envelopes, and they, they hold a lot. Okay, that's the cool thing about it, is uh, they hold a lot more stuff than you can imagine and you know if you're a junk journal or if you like to make junk journals like I do or smash books these are great to add to them but you can also use them and post them in the mail um, I'm making a bunch of die cuts for uh, a friend and I wanted to send them and this is the perfect way because sending it in a regular thin envelope they get they're likely to get um, you know smashed but sending them in a heavier envelope is is the ideal so here we go my junk mail little envelope tutorial so you can use anything you can I even made a few out of pasta boxes and I'll show you that and uh, and um, pasta boxes cereal boxes stuff like that so all you need is a pair of scissors and a glue stick and a couple of something to hold it down while the glue dries and I'm just using paper clips okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decide how big I want my envelope. And I'm just eyeballing it. You could measure it. Now you have to keep in mind, you need to leave a piece for the lid for this part. This is separate. So you need to leave a piece. So I'm going to fold it about right here. Now after you've decided where your measurements are in your piece of junk mail, I'm actually going to do it this way because her name's on the, the mail. Um, you need to leave about a quarter of an inch on this side of of where you've decided because you're going to cut this off but you need the quarter of an inch because you need it to fold over you need to fold that bit over so i'm gonna go ahead this is just a little bit more than a quarter of an inch but okay and then you're going to fold that over okay now the next step is you're going to cut off you're going to you're going to cut off about the same amount quarter of an inch from the bottom of only one side the side that doesn't have the flap so the flap side right let me just mark this out oh it just says to our friends that's fine so um the f to you're gonna the flap side you're gonna leave and the side that's the other folded bit you're gonna cut the bottom off about the same quarter of an inch. And the reason you wanna do that is because you need this part that folds up. Do you see this? It's gonna fold up and it lessens the bulk. Now, if you have a really thin or a much thinner page, you can leave it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it off. So about, I don't know, 
quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more. It's up to you. Okay, so now here's what you have. Your flyer folded and this side and your and your straight bit folded. Ready? One more time. Your paper your flyer folded it in half, left a quarter of an inch or a little bit more of an overhang, folded that over, and now you have this bottom part. So what you're going to do is you're going to unfold that side and fold this side up because you want it to get it close to the bottom of your edge. Folding it this way and folding it this way. Now it's going to form this little square and I'm going to mark it with this hot pink marker so you can see it that this is where it's folded. I'm going to put an X on it you're going to cut that off, all right? You just don't need the bulk of it and you're gonna cut that off. You know, once I started repurposing my junk mail, I don't think I ever looked back. So here's what it looks like. You're never gonna look at, at junk mail the same again. Here, folding it over and folding it up. Now before I do any gluing, I'm going to use, this is the part that you're going to make the rounded edge of your, of your envelope. Now I'm going to use a tape as a template. You can use anything you want. You want to leave a little bit on either side. See if you look here how there's just a little bit on either side. You don't want to cut it all the way to the end. You know, you want to leave just a little bit. And you can see in this one, I left a little bit more. I left some on both sides. So I'm gonna leave a little bit on both sides. I like using this tape dispenser. It's, it gives me a, or this big roll of masking tape is my template. Now you might say like, well, why make envelopes out of this? Well, first of all, it's just gonna end up in recycling. Second of all, it's repurposing your, your cool stuff. And third, you know, it gives you, um, you can customize it, make it anything. Um, you want to cut it before you glue it. It's always easier to cut something when it's flat. Okay, I've made kind of a large opening for this. this I'm going to put some big things in it. You could make it much smaller. Okay, so now here's what we have. A flyer, right? Cut open, right? It's open, folded in half, cut a little bit off of one side, folded it over, folded the bottom up, and now we have our opening cut as well. All right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a decision. You have two choices. You can glue it on the inside, right? Which I think in the case of this one, I will, and then glue this portion up, or you can glue it on the outside. Now, if I'm gonna glue it on the inside, do you see how it's gonna have this little extra bit? I'm gonna have to cut that off. So I'm just using glue stick. Some of them you may wanna use a wet PVA style glue like tacky glue or, um, you know, an Elmer's, they have an Elmer's household glue, which is not as thin as a school glue. So I'm gonna do this and I'm going to take my paper clips and I'm going to just put my pieces in place just to hold them, right? Now I'm going to decide, do I want it to be straight? You can leave it straight all the way across. Or on some of them, let me see, like on this one, I have rounded the bottoms. So, you know, there's no rules. It's junk mail. I think I'm just going to round it just a little. What's so funny is that my friends and my kids save me their junk mail. It's it's very sweet. Now, once again, I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the back of my glue stick as like a bone folder, and maybe even the back of my scissors, just to. Go ahead and I'm going to pull it off the side here and use the same back of my scissors as a bone folder. Just making sure it's all stuck down. 
Now I am going to have to trim off this part right here. I mean, you don't have to, but I am. Now you can leave this just as it is if you want. I mean, it's a great pocket. You can paint on top of it. If you're going to paint on these slick surfaces, use some fine sandpaper and then your painted here is much better. You can leave it just like this and you can stick a lot of stuff in it. What's cool about when you make pockets like this is unlike a regular envelope or regular, um, even a pocket made from a book page, it's much sturdier, but you get a lot of room. You can stick a bunch of stuff in it. Now I am going to make the flap that goes down on the envelope. Now what you have to decide is this one is kind of low um, and you also have to decide what you like, what you want seen. You know, it is junk mail. If you're going to leave it as junk mail. So you want to make sure that you cover where you've done the opening and then you want to turn it over. Okay because that's going to give you your template of where you're going to fold it up. So you're going to then just take and fold it up. Now I cut mine a little bit bigger than I need just in case I want to use like some decorative scissors on the sides or anything. These paper clips are magnetic and stuck to the scissors. Just in case I want to use, you know, use um, just in case I want to use my decorative scissors or I want to take a template to it and cut it I make mine just a little bit on the, on either side see in the back on either side it's just a little got a little bit of an overhang on both sides now I'm gonna make it even before I glue it down one side white one side yellow so you see the yellow one much more than you see the white one on this side see so I'm gonna just glue it down I happen to be using a glue stick, but you can use anything. If you have like a, a thick PVA, you could use Mod Podge. You could use anything. I'm just going to put this down for just hold this down for just a couple seconds till the glue sticks. Now you can see you have your envelope, right? Now you can actually put these in the post. You can put them right in the mailbox and uh, send them. Now it's it's pretty stuck down. Isn't that cool? Now imagine all the things that you can make with this. You can use your calendar pages. Um, let me just show you a couple I've done with. This one I did with a pasta box. You see the pasta box is on the inside, right? And the flap here. I'm thinking of stamping on it and then I might do some decorative cutting along the edge. This one I did with a cereal box. And I'm just going to use it as a pocket in one of my junk journals in a trashy style chunk journal. Now, you know, you can paint over these. You can um, cover them with your jelly printing paper. You can sand them, take a, a fine piece of sandpaper to them, and then use your regular acrylic paint on them. Or some of them you may like, just like this little um, Stars and Stripes one, this one with the coins I like. Um, I like the colors of this. I might, you know, take a little uh, glue to it. I mean, a little... Um, paint or gesso to the top of a little bit of it to, to make it maybe less so you don't notice the words so much but I like the colors. This one I just did out of a, this one was also out of a flyer but it's more like a magazine weight flyer, like a magazine cover and uh, it's just a, a really deep pocket. Isn't that cool? So that's what I've been up to today. I would love to hear what you're up to. Um, Anyway, leave a comment below, and I hope you enjoyed my little video. And happy craft giving, as my daughter told me today. <laughs> anyway, take care. Aloha.